Am I recording? Yeah. Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with a classic review for you today. And today I'm going to talk about Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny from 2006. Directed by Liam, Lin Liam Lynch and starring Tenacious D themselves, Jack Black and Kyle Gass. As well as guest star... Get out of here, I got a knife. Get... As well as guest star um, uh, appearances from Ben Stiller, uh, Dave Grohl, Amy Adams, Dio, Meatloaf, all kinds of stuff. The thing is with Amy Adams, this was like, this was like before she had become a star. Her character doesn't even have a line. She's just literally credited as gorgeous woman in one dream sequence. So it's like definitely uh, unaware they had a future like seven, eight time Oscar nominee on their hands there. You know, the whole setup here is a, 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 a fantasy telling of the history of Tenacious D, of their, their epic awesomeness to the, to the monument of rock, that kind of shit. Yeah, just, you know, they, they meet each other, uh, silly, wild wackiness. They basically want to find a two, a, a, a guitar pick that's basically, uh, enchanted because it was carved from the tooth of a defeated demon by a warlock, and anyone who play, who uh, performs with the pick will uh, can control the world. You know, guys like Jimmy Page, uh, um, uh, Jimi Hendrix, all kinds of guys. Uh, Pete Townsend. Great, so, uh, great callbacks to the old blues uh, guitar players, too, in this movie. Uh, I definitely love how... <laughs> Have like the the rock and roll uh, history museum <laughs> that they're trying to get to because that's where the pick is currently. And my favorite part when they get to that that is uh the <laughs> the whole like they get to like the the gods the gods guitar gods layer. It's like clearly the biggest section of the museum. That's what people are going through. They seem to see the fucking masters of the acts. Anyhow, you know, I don't know why I didn't see this when it first came out. I think I was kind of burnt out on Jack Black at the time. Uh, I didn't like him at all in King Kong. I thought he was awful in that. And I really didn't like uh, Nacho Libre. I thought it was downright hor uh, horrid. Uh, so I guess uh, that's why kind of this movie, uh, it wasn't past my radar. Definitely knew it came out. I was, like I said, it was maybe 22, 21 when it came out. It was Definitely on my radar. My friends were talking about this movie a lot. But, uh, I don't know. It just was never... Never interested in seeing it. It's just kind of flicking around the other night. Or last night. I figured, oh, what the hell? So I figured I saw it. Shoot a review for it. And get it out real quick. I got other reviews and other videos I want to shoot tonight, however. So, uh, I'll just better sign off and get this one in the can. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to make some uh, some dinner here, as you see. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.